Hey, hi everybody. Welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. And Vim. And we're here for another blind tasting on a Sunday afternoon, for us in California at least. And today's blind tasting was chosen by Anuj, picked number 90 out of 200. There's about 110 left on the shelf now, I checked. Right, uh, let's, let's pour some and get started for the next 12 minutes we'll be working our way through notes on this bottle and you get to guess what it is but first let's have a look hmm what do we make of that we've had such a run of of sherried whiskies recently the abv is pretty low do you want to know if it's chill filtered or not i think we do okay let's go ahead and do it Let's see if it stays clear. It's going to be very weak. <laughs> right, we will come back to that in a minute. I'll leave it. I'll leave it cooking there. So in the past, we haven't necessarily connected that well with sherry whiskies, right? Edra Dower is pr doing pretty good. Um, and what? <laughs> there's not much else up there, <laughs> is it? I think the Springbank has a bit of sherry but it's more of a finish. And this is another sherried whiskey, isn't it? But when we had the first taste at the end of the last episode, we had actually just been drinking the um, the Hazelburn Oloroso, which is fully matured in sherry. And then when I came to this one, I went, wow, this is like pure grass. And it's still grassy. But today it seems more like chocolate than grass. Kind of chocolate grass. I know. What wine? I mean, I'm presuming it's sherried, right? Judging by that colour. Let's uh, have a quick check in on our clear. Mmm. Looking pretty clear, isn't it? Uh, in fact, I would get it more of a rosé wine. More of a rosé wine. But it's not a wine finish, though, is it? Do you think it's wine finish? I don't know. I think it's sherry. But it's not very strong sherry, is it? What have we got? I'm getting a, a bourbon chocolate biscuit. Yeah, it has got a bit of the ex-bourbon vanilla about it, hasn't it? So it could be refill sherry, something which is not the very high. strong sherry. Or it could be not sherry at all. <laughs> okay, let's let's help ourselves it's out. A, a sweet grass candy. Sweet grass candy. Let's have a taste so, and then we'll go to the ABV. Mmm. It's beautiful. It's that short lemon in the end. When I said grassy last time, I immediately thought, oh, grassy like Deanston or maybe Craig Ellicky. It seems much more chocolate and sherry today yeah. than that but first taste. But in a grassy way, not, not in a way. <laughs> But in a grassy way. Right, let's go back to the... I, I give it the name. Chocolate grass. Yeah, chocolate grass. Mm, okay, we're a few minutes in. Let's go back to the glass. Well, the glass has certainly stayed clear. So that does suggest that it is it's, chill filtered. Let's have a look at the uh, ABV. Right. I mean, good quality bubbles, but they don't hang around, do they? 40%. No, 43. Ooh, could be. 46. I think we need some help. It's very light, it's not strong. I think we need some help. So it's uh, 43 to 46. Yeah, I'm going to have a look. Oh, okay, well that narrows it down. All right, people, we're off to a start. 43 percenter. Let's... Bring up the spreadsheet and then you can start start the guessing because there aren't many in here. I will just let you shout out. Look, that's it. That's all of the 43s. <clears throat> and, uh, can I, um, I'm getting soft smoke, but more of a funky cheese, but it's very soft. Some smoke, but more of a funky cheese. It's very, very This subtle. isn't peated. No, 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 it's not peated. So barrel char at max maximum. What I'm amazed though, is how much I'm enjoying a 43% mm. 
sherried, maybe, whiskey. Uh, only 43. There's quite a lot of caramel at the end, though, isn't there? But that... And uh, there is not even 43. And uh, solidity. Solidity. I have to say the flavours seem pretty strong for 43. Mm, now, it's not, yes. it's not alcohol strong, but the flavours seem dense. But definitely a grassy banana earth. The nose is pretty complex, I thought. In fact, when I, when I, uh, where's my picture? When I was nosing it earlier, I kind of drew quite a lot of complex things in here, like grassiness, a little bit of cheesiness. So a bit green, a bit whiny. And a sweet and sour. But then when I actually taste it, it's like the drawing looks like everything's quite separate and it is on the nose. But when I taste it, it seems more integrated. Now, maybe that's the low ABV, but it's almost like when I taste it on the palate, I feel like I want to do something kind of like this to sort of <laughs> to soften it, to soften it out. Something like that. A very subtle sign, but then this slight the bitterness. But then I get the very the part of the earth, beautifully integrated. Do you think this this could be quite old? I think. If the finish is also classy, chocolate. Where would you put that on the shelf? I have more luck. What about, let's so, compare it. Let's do a comparison. What did I bring up? I just wanted to try Glen Goyne 21 because this is 43% as well. And it's not even on the shelf anymore because we didn't like it that much. But I was wondering, is, is Glen Goyne 21 grassy? Because it's quite soft. I'm gonna drink first. It's not a million miles away from that actually, is it? But it's, it's much sweeter. This is sweeter, sweeter, or this is sweeter? It is sweeter. It's actually a bit I more... A bit more suffery for me. A bit sour, more sour arrival, and then a bit more pepper on the finish. So do you prefer... I, I like that, actually. But do you but prefer this, or do you prefer this? It's more confident. Let's try the Edradour. Edradour. This is 46%, so um, it's going to be a bit stronger, obviously. That's that's much richer, like the sherry is much stronger in this. And a bit shouty. A bit shouty. I think a bit more farmy, dirty. Yeah, okay, back to back to number 90. And then- I'm, uh, I'm like, it's more, I'm more, the more, I'm... Six seconds. So what are we saying? Um, but I think it it's my other deep flavor. It could be this. Oh, it could be Macallan 18. Abelauer. <laughs> now we do have this old Glen Goyne 17. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to pick this Glen Goyne 17. Damn. Could I be one of the Glen Farkasses. They're, they're no citrus, they're no orange. Okay. We could go up 17. I don't think it's a 25 year old. I think it's one of these two. If it doesn't say 17, we're in trouble. It is. Oh, what's going to be? I'm stuck. It's 25 years old. It's good. It's about a $160 bottle. And it is a Speyside from Ben Farkless. Well, we've never had such an old. It is Glen Farkless 25. But so that means... 25, that was worth it. That means we get it wrong. This is all we've got left. This was a sample, I think, from Sean. We did a trade. I thought you got a fab Costco. No, no, we haven't got a bottle. This is it. I've looked at it in Costco. I've seen it in Costco for 135. Oh, that's, that's oh, cheap. We didn't. I, I, think, I think it's worth buying for under 35. I think it is worth. Mm, yeah. It is worth it. You know, we didn't finalise where we were going to put that on the shelf. 